back to another video and today we have another ground hop for you and today I'm just making the short journey on the tube uh, to Shepherd's Bush to watch QPR play West Brom and actually uh, quite an important game for me to watch as a Norwich fan is that West Brom currently uh, four points behind uh, second place Sheffield United but this is their game in hand so if they win tonight they will be within just one point of Sheffield United and three points of Norwich so need QPR to uh, pick up a result tonight but um, they've had a terrible 2019 so far just a single point of, they've lost five games in a row but uh, it's not all bad for them uh, West Brom don't have Dwight Gale as he's ser serving a second um, game of his uh, two game ban uh, for diving so maybe they can get something but uh, yeah it's going to be a tough game for Rangers tonight and uh, West Brom they, they do need the points if they are to keep keeping up the chase um, with Norwich Leeds and Sheffield United. Should be a good one tonight. Let's go. Oh yeah, and apologies for the really boring background there.
Okay, back from the game then. And it has to be said, we're on a pretty good run in terms of the ground hops uh, at the moment. Um, another good game here, 3-2 to West Brom. A couple of weeks ago, or about a month ago nearly, um, we saw Barnet 3, Brentford 3. Saw three goals at Coventry last weekend and also three goals at Dulwich Hamlet the week before. So, uh, haven't had any nil nils so far, which is uh, perfect. But, uh, oh, another message. Um, <laughs> but I have to say, I did not want this one to finish 3-2, but it did. And it was, a, like I said, a crack in second half. And uh, West Brom in the last 10 minutes piled on the pressure. And it was inevitable uh, that they were probably going to find the back of the net sooner or later. And they did. It was a nice team move and a great three points for them. That keeps the pressure up on Norwich Leeds and Sheffield United. And uh, West Brom play Sheffield United this weekend. But uh, their fans uh, can have nothing to fear about that. Uh, the way some of the football they played tonight was uh, uh, pretty good. And um, yeah, I think that'll be a great game on Saturday. As for QPR, uh, quite unlucky to be honest. I don't think they really deserve to lose the game. Certainly not based on the second half. They had a couple of chances themselves to grab a winner, um, but they didn't take them. And yeah, we know what happens in football when you don't take your chances. Yes, the other team goes down the other end, it nicks a goal, and it steals the points. But that is what teams at the top of the league generally do. Uh, even when they're not playing their best, they find a way to win, and that is exactly what West Brom did. So as for the actual ground then, I think it's about my fourth or fifth visit to Loftus Road. First time I've sat in that position, though, because I've always been in the way and watching Norwich. And uh, for nine quid, that was a cracking view, I thought. Um, match rating, yeah, I gave it an eight. Uh, ground rating in general, uh, seven. Again, it's a ground that I've been to quite a lot, so almost quite normal in a way. Food rating, another solid pie, as usual, uh, seven out of ten. And that gave it an overall score of 22. So, yeah, that completes another ground top, guys. Um, as for the next one, it might not be for a while, although I am going to uh, Norwich against Mill in a couple of weeks, but uh, the kind of rule of this series was uh, I only do videos and vlogs, and um, uh, yeah, or I only make videos if it's uh, a neutral game that I'm watching, so if I'm in the home end, and uh, stop going off. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm going to be obviously in the Norwich end for that, and it's on my birthday as well, so I probably will not be vlogging that one, and I will go to Mill some other time. But yeah, hopefully the next one will be within a few um, weeks, but we have already done uh, three this month, which is probably more than I thought I'd do. But yeah, still enjoying this video, still loving traveling around London, watching loads of football games, and seeing plenty of goals. So yeah, thank you very much for the support on all the recent video, guys. Uh, it does mean a lot to me, and I will see you in the next video, uh, which should be hopefully uh, next week in terms of RuneScape. I'm not able to upload tomorrow, but uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get a couple of videos out for you next week. Have a good one.